Hi everyone, this is going to be a short and scripted video because I wanted to get a quick message out related to Emily Artful's Creepshow art story. I'll still be posting my regular Friday video and I'll write about the art in this video in the description. Also, I want to include a content warning. Emily's video contains her personal story of harassment, abuse, and violation of various kinds. I will add a card here to link to Emily's video. Also, all of the accusations embedded in this conversation are alleged, and I encourage you to watch Emily's video. I have been a fan of Emily Artful for a few years. I love her art style, her story times, and just how self-reflective she is. I used to watch Creepshow art when she started doing story times. I found her stories interesting and sympathized with her periods of homelessness. It has now been revealed, allegedly, that Creepshow and her partner named Andrew chose to live in their car. They planned and budgeted for it, which was not made known, as far as I can recall, in Creepshow's story times. However, as Emily reveals in her video, Creepshow and Andrew, her husband, allegedly used revenge porn and acted in such a way as to get Emily fired from her job and then lead Emily to homelessness. Yeah, I'm just breaking the surface here. Watch Emily's video. Also, it should be noted that Creepshow's partner is Emily's ex-boyfriend. Allegedly, Creepshow helped her ex, Andrew, use revenge porn on an ex-girlfriend, Emily. I just wanted to say the following to Emily. I believe you, and I'm so sorry that you had these experiences with Creepshow and Andrew, allegedly. They both need serious help, and I hope that everyone involved gets what they need to work on themselves, heal, and be better people. Emily, I respect your sobriety, your patience, and your efforts to add more beautiful art to a world that has really challenged you. Creepshow Art's name is Shannon. I refer to her throughout this video as Creepshow because I don't want people to forget that Creepshow the creator cannot be separated from Shannon the alleged stalker and abuser. Whether you call her Creepshow or Shannon, she needs help, not harassment. Don't go running to her account to talk shit. Just hope she gets help. Go support people who can healthily exist online without allegedly hurting others and themselves. And I want to end with something Emily says at the end of her video. Quote, Your faves are problematic, and so are you. And in a way, that's a good thing, depending on how you handle it. When you are confronted with the fact that you are making a problematic decision or statement, you need to face it, and you need to take accountability, and you need to use that mistake to move on and do better. End quote. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.